How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? I am over here going to be talking about Denzel's new Denzel's Curry, ah, his new album that that just came out called "The King of the Mischievous South Volume 2. Before going into this, Denzel Curry is actually a really interesting artist, in my opinion. I do love some of his early work. Um, Thirty Two Zell wasn't really it for me. Um, Imperial was really interesting. I do love. Excuse me, his 2018 album Taboo. I like that one the most. It does have some heavy hitting songs, in my opinion. One of them, my favorite one, is uh, I think by Black Balloons. Sumo, definitely my favorite. Uh, Switch It Up is actually a good one for me, and The Blackest Balloon, Perks, Vengeance, uh, Black Metal ter Terrorist. But with Denzel, he has like this weird flow and how he just puts out his lyricism in his own way like if you put him on i feel like i can obviously tell between like any other like high hip-hop artists of so which one is denzel he just has his own style of how he just raps and has his own flows and, and his melodies zoo wasn't really much of a hitting album for me i mean like probably just the first two songs even though i re-listened to it i'll probably might open up to it more unlock was okay i do like the collab that he did with kenny beats because kenny beats is actually a really good producer in my opinion that one my favorite one has to be take it back when he just mentions like with worlds of parks and slavery um melt my eyes and see your see your future is my favorite album it, this is my favorite recent album that he's put out because i feel like this one it just felt like more like a tip him to butterfly but a denzel version because it does have some jazz elements into it and i am a sucker for having jazz into a hip-hop rap flow or b or anything like that the mel session was really great really great introduction and walk in walk in is an all-time classic for me i do love the jazz or the last my bad not the last or not the jazz mental is mental is just it for me Ain't No Way is also a good one, too. I love that Jid feature. His verses go crazy. X-Wing, my favorite, too. And I think there, there's it's some Z-word. It's like Zatui, Zachui, Zachui, or whatever is all right. And I do love La Larger in Life. And I do love everything else in, like, the cold-blooded soul that he made, like, that version. I think it's probably my favorite version I've seen of an album go into another direction that's not, you know, chopped up or slowed down or reverb. I just like how it just sound more like a jazzy type of album with some rap elements into it. That I like that the most, and I don't think I can ever find another. Well, to put to butterfly is out honestly like a good contender to have those same elements being poured into another album but i feel like for denzel's case i don't f i feel like this album cannot top that in my opinion this one i feel like the king of mischiefs can top off probably imperial 32 zell zoo maybe unlocked but I think this is a really good top three album of my choice. If like if I had to introduce people to Denzel Curry, um, and you know give them a list of his projects, it would be Taboo, Melt My Eyes, See Your Future, and The King of Mis Mischiefs South Volume Two. It's honestly not that bad in my opinion. I only have just like two complaints about this song or about this album. My bad. One. My one complaint is there's just too many features. Like, I'm all for it for a rapper to make their albums, right? To add some features into their songs. But when I just want to listen to the artist by themselves, in this case, Denzel Curry, there's no single song with without Denzel in it just by himself. I'm okay with, you know, having features and everything there and there, but just like, to have that to completely overhaul your whole album it's like yeah i kind of understand what he was trying to go for for like the the king of Mis mischiefs mischievous mischiefs I, I don't know i'll say mischievous just to be safe but i feel like it should be just more so with him with features not with features with denzel you know and second grape I have with this album, there is just too many um, interludes, in my opinion. I've never seen 
a, an album with so many like intro, outro, and then in, interludes. Like I get it to have intro and outros, but like having like too many interludes is just like no, it's it's really not it for me. I think this one has like maybe two or three interludes, and I'm just like um. Okay, like I get the reasoning of like I get like the purpose of having an interlude, but if you're gonna have a lot in your album, like maybe two, three, or like four, that's like a little bit too much, and especially when you don't have a good amount of songs to break in between. But I'm just getting my head of myself. You know, we start off with the intro, which is all right. I do love ultra shit because it reminds me like it reminds me a lot of like Suicide Boys because I know they have like their own type of flow and style that way but denzel's version and beat wise and interest instrumental wise is honestly what it reminds me of and i like it like i'm i'm all for it just listening to it set it it's just like it has a good beat and it's just more so of like a hype song for what's coming next because when hot ones comes up hot hot ones is honestly really good i love the beat i love the vocals and i love the verses from both denzel and asap ferg but uh tia Corey caught me off guard with her verses because i was just like who the fuck is actually like rapping this right now i thought it was freaking kirby man it, it just catch me off guard black flag freestyle of course cannot forget about that the beat is incredible denzel's verses was incredible the mexican ot that mexican ot incredible that just makes me want to listen to him even more i i was aware of him but i didn't know like his vocals or his verses or any like features from any big said name artist i would consider denzel being one of the bigger artists of like the new generation of hip-hop you know but man spit out some good verses so probably gonna go see if you know if he's cooking up something um we got the head crack interlude you know not really my thing um uh, because you know not a big fan of interludes if it wasn't gonna like be some type of beater or any verses to drive away the intention but g's up is a good beat too it's more just like another hype song but i i like i i have my feelings with it like i i like it and then i don't like it i just like i just like here's g's up g's up but like i don't know though he's i don't know i just have mixed feelings about it and then we have lunatic interlude another one we got Sked. Sked is a good beat overall. Um, the verses were just like okay, nothing like too cra too crazy in my opinion. Um, but yeah, most of these have does have some experimental like um experimental uh what you call it um verses or experimental uh beats kind of like it's more so it reminds me of something like with Imperial but different. And then we got the choose wisely and mission. I don't know if I I would even call this an interlude, but I'll call it as an interlude because it's nothing but anything but that, I guess. Cole Pimp is a good one. I love that Ty Dollar Sign feature, man. He is just he's just been on a run with his features for a good minute now. And I haven't even listened to Juicy J, and Juicy J is really good too. Love love what they did there. Overall, good features on that song. Um, Wishlist. Honestly, I'm about to say something that's like so kind of crazy. I love Wishlist because it is so fucking catchy. So it, it reminds me of a song called Life We Live by Project Pats, but it's like a, a remix of that, like how the beat is. But he just turned it up a little bit more. It reminds me of a song. Another song that, um, if you guys know Soft Willy, there's like a song, um, I think I Love You So is the song, like, I Love You So. And then Life We Live is basically like a mixture of that, but like a remix that Denzel made. And it's really good. I love the feature that he put on there too. Being everything, just incredible. Hit the Floor with Ski Mask is a really nice headbanger. But the lyrics are not really there for me, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. Like, I love the B and everything, but lyri lyrics-wise and verses-wise from both artists was did not hit there for me. I don't know, maybe because, like, for me personally, I have not listened to Ski Mask the Slump God that much. But I do, you know, listen to his popular songs that had one of them with the Juice World feature. So I don't know if it's because I haven't listened to Ski Mask or if I just didn't like how he just... Combulated this song together with both of them in it. 
hoodlums i'm actually warming up to the song a whole lot more every time i play it especially with that asap rocky feature man every time with this versus man it just hits the same every time and it just feels just better every time we we'll listen so i enjoyed my time listening to hoodlums and then we got the outro so overall i feel like this is a good it's a good it's a it's um it's an okay album i don't want to say it's a fully solid al album because in my opinion i feel like there should be i feel like there's there's some i feel like i've been cut out just a little bit mainly because for me because of like the intros the interludes and the intermission all that being there to make up like what like like five songs out of the 10 and if you just cut that you just got like literally just 10 songs and cutting those five so with five with like you know 10 songs being in this album theoretically 10 songs i only like just a solid just a solid six out of them so i guess like for me it did hit the mark of like how i was going into this album hopefully i can like a good amount of the songs because when i saw all those features i was just like oh gosh i hope i like these songs i hope i love these songs i hope i can tune into this album once in a while to play ultra shit or hot ones or black flags or even cold pimp to wishlist and hoodlums excuse me too and maybe i can open up more with like hit the flow or skid or anything like that or which um g's up you know hopefully i can warm up to it but for right now i feel like it's an okay i feel like if he added just a little bit more into this album i would have called it more of a more for me a solid album i'll give this album like a good like for me personally i'll give it like a good solid seven out of ten you know i don't think it's like overall amazing i just feel like it's just overall like going back to his you know rapper style roots granted i'm coming off of you know only listening to melt my icu future and mostly i don't think it, i think it's a good solid pick like i said if i if i had to introduce people to denzel curry this would be one of my top three albums i would you know probably show him because for me, I had more so of a better time listening to this, um, Melt My Eyes and Zoo, not Zoo, uh, Taboo. I don't, I'm not trying to discard his other projects. It just didn't like kind of hit the same of how this one is because I feel like it's more so a complete for Denzel. I feel like he's reaching his evolution, like peak of like his creativity and his versatility, versatile of a rapper and how he's just producing just more of his stuff but just like making it just twisting it just a little bit so i feel like you know overall his growth has been for me getting into him for the start to now i feel like he has done amazingly with his growth as an artist that i will give him commitments for like he has grown a lot from 2015 to now i feel like he's at probably just still in his prime just doing some shenanigans shit with his music and especially when He's out here doing features left and right. Can never, can never turn down a good uh, Denzel verse. Can never. But yeah, overall, seven out of ten. Well, in my opinion, I just feel like they, I just feel like just more songs should have been added to the album instead of you know five of them just being interlude like nothing, the album related. But it is you know a complete package. You could call this a complete package because there is intro, interludes, intermission, and end. You know, but that's just like not my forte if that's gonna make up the album and not really the primary the like you know the body of it being mostly just the songs but yeah that's just me let me know what you guys think down below in the comment sections if not that's uh, a-okay with me but anyways guys my name is fendigo239 and i hope y'all have a wonderful morning night day evening whatever the occasion is take care stay safe and all that good jazz but anyways guys later